is you were like spicy, very spicy. You very were a tourist spicy. with bull <laughs> horns on fire, dipped in gasoline. <laughs> I'm a firm believer that some things can only be healed once you're in a relationship. Oh, come on, man. It wasn't until I was with you, until I unlocked things in you and in me separately, but then together that I realized like, oh, I'm not, I'm not really healing because I'm not, nobody triggered me to heal. There yeah. was no reason. It's like, I don't mind. I know that my stuff stank, but there's nobody calling me on it. There's yeah. no accountability. And when you add somebody else to that, that level of healing, it's accountability. It's yeah. like, mm -mm. we're not going to pretend like you didn't, you didn't have integrity in that moment. We're not going to yeah. pretend because now I'm calling you on it because it's like, oh, when you don't have integrity, that affects me because we're together and people are looking at you and people are looking at me yeah. and it's like, no, I'm holding you accountable. Fix that. Why did you do that? Why did you say that? Why did you act like that? That's exactly what I was going to say. Like for me, yeah. everything is about standard. I didn't have mm. standards until you required them out of me and that mm. challenged me because I'm like, why can't she just be a girlfriend? We're in high school and you, you played the role of a wife so well mm. that I, I never saw that demonstrated in my own relationships, which is why I was just like, whatever. It's, as long as I have a girlfriend, that is yeah. my standard. And it didn't care. I didn't care like how she looked, what she did, what she said. It was like, do we have like at least one commonality? Okay, yeah. cool. You can be my girlfriend. But yeah, until you start challenging me, despite how sometimes it was delivered, because you were like spicy, very spicy. You very were a tourist spicy. with bull <laughs> horns on fire, dipped in gasoline. <laughs> but at the end of the day, if I had to write down what you were saying, I would like have to scratch out some of the expletives. But a lot of them. <laughs> the message was very clear yeah. that it needed to challenge me in order to bring things outside of me that healed me. So, yeah. and I think there's a certain level of you know maturity that has to happen in a relationship because. Mm -hmm. You can't be immature in a relationship. And, and I mean that by saying, like, if I call you on something, like, if I'm like, babe, you shouldn't have did that. Like, you should have had more integrity. You should have stood yeah. up for yourself more in that moment. And if you come back and you're like, I don't want to hear that. It's over. So I'm trying to help you become a better person. Correct. And rather than you just accept the growth, accept the tip and say, you know what? You're right. Or at least take it and try to work on it exactly. and not pretend like you don't have that issue. Like you don't have the issue of procrastination. You don't have the issue of lying. Yes. You know, rather than try to pretend like you don't know that, you have to have a little bit of maturity in you and, and a little bit of actually self-awareness exactly. to be able to say, dang, I didn't mask my insecurities well enough or I didn't hide my negatives or my weaknesses well enough mm. or... My partner knows me <laughs> a lot better than I thought that they did because they see me without me having to sit down and say formally, so this is my weakness. Exactly. This is my strength. We didn't have to go through that. And That's somebody that loves you. Yeah. On topic, we never did that. Like when we started dating, we never had that. Okay, let me, what are your strengths and your weaknesses? What is your five year plan? Yeah. We never did that. And I feel like that's the adventure of our relationship because we just flow together. Yeah. And that's we where friendship flow. comes in. Because yes. when you're friends with somebody, you're used to getting critical advice from that yeah. person. And you don't take it personal. Yeah. When you get in a relationship, y'all got these titles hovering over your head that when somebody says something about you, yeah. that's actually going to help the relationship for both of y'all. More so you than both of y'all. It's like they don't want to hear it. Yeah. And it's like you have to completely remove the fact that somebody's like against you. Your your relationship is one person. It's a team. Yeah. So where your weaknesses are, you have to like like you said, take accountability for those things. You and look so pivot. good right now. I'm I'm listening, but you look you're not good. listening. I am listening to you, but you look really good. You, you in a red dress. You looking <laughs> like a gazelle right now. <laughs> a gazelle in a dress, just ready. Yeah, you just look good. <laughs> really? Yes. You need some, don't you? I need healing. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. <laughs> wow, you took it there. You took it there. You healed me. You healed I can me. confidently say you healed me. You carried me up a hill, and then you healed me. <laughs> Woo. Ain't no switching up. I love you. I love you. Mm.